So, yeah, tonight we are going to kick things off with some uh, Sears 16. And this one is called Gallivant. Right, we've got some gel involved in this. It's an easy, medium difficulty, light bridge and speed gel puzzle. I have several re remakes of my older puzzles in various stages of progress at the moment, many of which have sat untouched for months. This one was the closest to completion, so I decided to dust it off, iron out all the flaws before publishing. This is the remake of the final chamber of Rome. I wonder if I recognize it. I'll have a look at that in a minute. The core puzzle remains most the same, but the entire map has been given a huge aesthetic overhaul. Here, the music is for science from Portal Pro. And as always, feedback and stuff is appreciated. So, uh, Rome, do we remember much about Rome? Do we even play Rome? Uh, I don't know that we did play Rome. This could be one that I haven't played from a series. So, uh, that's uh, interesting. You got snow day today, Nerdlin. Nice. Nice, nice, nice. Snows doesn't come. Whoa. Yo, what? Is there an update to Portal where they changed the... Well, they changed the uh, server text and font and everything. That's interesting. Interesting. You got severe stuff. I've heard that the um, I've heard it is very cold in the US at the minute. Um, my wife actually told me last night when we was chatting that something about um, aren't like lizards falling out of trees or something in in place of the US at the minute because it's so cold. So uh, yeah, I had heard that it's. Um, I had heard that it's been pretty, uh, pretty cold for the US. It's not supposed to get over zero. Is that a zero F or zero C? I know, uh, I know you guys mainly deal with uh, Fahrenheit, whereas we deal with um, Celsius. Yeah, that's pretty cold. Not gonna lie. But um. The other way we have um this became popular a few years ago i remember when everybody started doing this like the two gel droppers so that you can better coat these angles which is um all good so i have a little save here i don't know that we're actually going to get much out of this but we'll over then into the goop which is what i thought how when did they when did they when did they update like the server console stuff. I'm um, really quite intrigued now as to when they did that. Yeah, snow's not something we get here very often in the UK, so we kind of try and make the most of it as and when we can. So what controls this? Alright, so we need a cube. We need a cube, so what can we actually do from here? I tell you what we can do. How about we run at this from the other direction? And see where we can go from here, maybe. There we go. Excellent. We'll save there in the, instead. Ah, I see. St stream deck updates. What does, uh, what does everybody feel about the stream deck? That um, you guys think it's something you'll uh, invest in? Iron Smeltry there, it's trying to school me on how to Discord <laughs> in the middle of a stream. Thanks for that, Iron. Appreciate it. Okay, so I'm guessing. What am I guessing? Well, we want to get the cube out of here, right? I need to see a point where I can place a portal. I'm thinking maybe we'll leave the light bridge there like that.
And we'll do this. Hey, iron. Thanks for schooling me on Discord. Appreciate it. <laughs> Alright, so we have that, and we have that. Is it... Um, I think I didn't check before. Is open door policy. And... Okay, so what we're going to need to do is we're going to need to get the light bridge. But the problem with that is I don't know if that's possible to do... If that's possible to do with the cube down there. Maybe we need to keep a portal over here. Hmm. I'm going to reload the save because it'll be quicker than uh, setting that up again. Have you got um have you got access to you got access to Dino, haven't you, Iron? So what I need to do is I need to pull there. How are we going to set this up? This is interesting. Okay, so that falls back like far enough over there. I'm almost deaf. Uh, it depends on the difficulty, honestly, Kano. It honestly depends on the difficulty. Some chamber, some some streams we get like a bunch of relatively easy to medium maps, so we get through quite a lot. Others, we can spend an entire stream, sometimes multiple streams, um, on the same map. So, yeah, it's, um, it is completely dependent on the map itself, or the maps themselves. All right, so I'm not sure how we deal with this here. Oh, actually, maybe I do. Does that intersect? Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, I think I see how to do this. So, what we're going to do? I was worried about getting back on the light bridge, but of course, this is what the speed gel does. So what we do here, I think, is something like this. And then we go on to here. Okay, now we can remove this, maybe. I mean, that would get me up there, but that's not good enough, is it? Because we now need to put the cube on the button. Thanks, Ryan. Appreciate that. I didn't realise until I was looking through the options with um, Deathwish at the beginning of the week, actually, that they'd actually implemented that on Dino, so it's, um, it's quite handy, indeed. Oh, hold on. Maybe I'm thinking about this all wrong. I gotta keep portal on that side, right? Which I think is black portal at the moment. Mm -hmm. 
So I'm thinking... I might mean... The thing is, though, I might not be done with the gel yet. I might not be done with the gel. No, I'm not done with the gel. So what I'm going to do here... What I'm sorry, I had to cough that. What I need to do here is I need to get gel on there here. And then by getting gel on here, what we'll be able to do is run out of here with the portal on there, come out of there, and then fire onto there to get the light bridge up to the top. That's what we need to do. Now to do that, I think we're gonna have to take the cube back. I don't think I can do that from this, like I've got it here at the moment. But then, I would need a portal. I need to get over there. So let's open up this again. Like so. I'm not sure how that helps though. I need to get up to there from this side here, right? Okay, uh, another idea. Let's do this. And then we'll do this. Yikes. Hmm. Not enough height. Alright, that's maybe not what we need to do. Interesting. Not unless I coat this bit of... Okay. Alright, let me... I think we probably can. If... I, oh, the old speed gel thing out of a portal. We could do this instead. I just want to get some more gel on here. It's pretty much a full puzzle reset, I know, but... Alright, and then we'll do... You, uh... You're not feeling the love there to cover yourself completely, no? Well, it does probably normally help if you fire the right portal, though. I guess. My bad. Alright, so then we are going to do this setup again. You can stay there. 
because we're going to get a new version of you. I don't remember many of the tracks from like by name and whatnot when it comes to the, the mods and the games, but I quite like this one. It's quite um, quite subtle, quite a subtle little track. It's a uh, Portal Pro, I think it's it, isn't it? Okay, so now we do this, and then we're going to go and get Cube back here. Oh, actually, we don't. Maybe we don't need the cube here. I just remember what I was, what it was that I was actually trying to do. Oh, I thought that was going to be DBG. Please be enough. Please be enough. Please be enough. There we go. A little bit of gel makes all the difference. Okay. Ah, uh, you see the problem here, though? Hmm. Maybe if we take the cube, we can do... other stuff? You have an assignment to do in 31 minutes, which was given by me. I gave you an assignment? Wait, what? <laughs> yeah, okay, so... Okay, so here's the issue. How do I swap this? Yeah, I don't know how to swap the portal. Obviously I can use the, the running technique here switch the portal onto here and then go over here I'm pretty sure I haven't got enough momentum right to hit this have I oh, I have okay well that makes things that makes things easier and more less complicated. Not like me to overcomplicate something, hey. Okay, so that is I don't know why I'm saving because that's why well, it saves the portals in position, that's the main thing. Um And then, if I've got this right, I should be able to head home for the finale like that. But I need to be facing the right direction, of course. Cool. Excellent stuff. I really like that one. Um, hopefully, I didn't overcomplicate it too much, though. I hope I didn't. Um... I don't see how there's any other way that you could do that without taking as many steps as I did. So, um, awesome stuff. See us. Thank you very much for submitting. Next, we go on to Hugging Sunlight from Alfie 5. Thanks for the stretch, Ryan. Big stretch.
while we evaluate this test chamber and see what it's all about. See Bendy on fire, it's not good. Bridges made of natural light pumped in from the surface. Rub your cheek on one and feel the sun shining on your face. Also, set your hair on fire. Medium difficulty. This map was created back in 2020, but never finished. Recently, I was tinkering in the editor with ideas. I rediscovered it in my backlog of experiments and saw it sitting there ready to publish. So here we are. If you find any exposed trouble situations, please let me know in the comments below F. Uh, thank you, Conclan, for helping with this map back in 2020 when it was still blueprinting. Um, it's uh, Conclan's ID and special thanks to Tio for helping refine the puzzle. All right. Big F. All right, so clearly we need a light bridge across there. It reminds me of a... I can't think whose map it was, but it reminds me of a hammer map from someone somewhere. Just that section. So, interestingly... Um, I think we need a light bridge, but I think we're actually going to fling across there. We're going to need to do a fling to get across to there. I'm guessing we can do something like that. Wouldn't you know it? We got ourselves a light bridge. Hey, Crazy's here. What's going on, Crazy? How you doing? Welcome, welcome. Hope you're well. Alrighty then. Looks like exit maneuvers. Very simple puzzle. Uh, when I say simple, very simple um, elements. It's light bridge only, I think, is the only element we've got here. So, yeah, that's pretty cool. So we've got a trap platform here that brings us back to. I think that's just for. I will just try it. I'm pretty sure this is just for a return. Turning up to there. Yes, in case you stuff that up. That's what I thought. Just had to verify. So we don't need to worry about that angle panel. We can roll that out of our investigations. Okay, and I'm thinking... I'm thinking we are going to use the ceiling here. You don't know what wordle is. Basically, you have to guess a five-letter word within six attempts. And um, you get... Um, each attempt, it tells you whether it's... Um, not the right letter the right letter but in the wrong place or the right letter in the right place so from those deductions you then have to kind of work out whether or not you are on the right lines or not Alright, so we could do with getting some extra height there then. It's interesting. So is there a way that we can generate more height? might be able to do it and I don't know if this is cheeky or not we could do something like this I 
which gives us the portal on the ceiling now. I don't think it's cheeky. I think it's big brain, actually. Me knock. Me use big brain for once. Just for once. Then we do this. Portal. Portal. Wrong portal. Me knock. Me not use big brain. <laughs> uh, I'm not even sure where I create a safe spot either. Now, I don't know if it's based on it, but there is actually a show. And uh, don't get me wrong, I don't watch uh, daytime telly at all that much. But there is a daytime show here in the UK called um, Lingo. And it's exactly the same sort of thing. Um, where basically people just have six guesses to guess the word and it tells you the same sort of clues, same sort of hints as word orders. So I don't know if it, there's like any affiliation between word and lingo. I doubt it, given that um, I hear the New York Times, uh, Mika linked me something the other day, that the New York Times was interested in buying it. Um, it kind of makes me think that um, it's an American based thing. Oh my goodness. What? Why why did I get so much Alright, let's Let's go in here sideways then. There we go. And the exit is ours. You never heard of Mastermind? Okay. I remember my brother had it when we were kids and I never really when I was a kid I never really understood it, but Basically, you have, um, from what I remember, kind of, there was you have some, you have two people you rend. One person sets a combination using coloured pegs, and then you have so many slots leading up to that, and then you you guess, try and guess their combination. And they have like different coloured markers to say um, whether or not they were right, right in the right position, right in the wrong position, or just wrong, basically. So yeah, it's it's pretty much the it's like a it's an evolution of that as well um yeah we were talking about that earlier um uh crazy actually um we didn't know when that they'd made the change also good uh good chamber alfie nice uh few elements um yeah we didn't know when the change would be made but i did notice obviously as soon as i jumped into here that um we got that change don't want that i want this because now we're going to play terminal by fumbly bumbly um, I did, who was it? I think Mikro also linked me to an article earlier on, so there's now a, a number version of Wordle as well. Uh, easy because it's just a very short puzzle idea I thought was cute. Uh, for exploit, exploits and such in the comments. Your feedback is appreciated. All right, let's see what Fumbly's cooked up this time. We have to come back to here. It's interesting. That's very interesting. This almost reminds me of um was there that map it was like a oh who made it? Wasn't it like Flooper or somebody? Made it like quite a while ago. They made like a almost like a metro station map with some of these track platforms. Um Custom, we don't r tend to do custom maps. Okay, now I get it. And then we do this. There, they, they do happen every now and again, but they are very rare. They are a rare occurrence. Wow. 
Whoops. Let's go, Metro Ham. How you doing? Welcome, welcome. This is Wheatley. What's going on? How you doing? Good to see you. Welcome along to our portal community. Oh, I probably need to be on there, don't I, for a start, so... Yeah, I can see that quite clearly from there, just doing this one. Yeah, I'm good, thank you very much. Sorry, I didn't mean custom maps, I meant co-op maps. Uh, Kano. Another save. Cool idea. I see why I had to use the pedestal button though, Fumbly, to um, delay um, the repress on that button, um, which would be easily fixed in a hammer map because you could just um, disable the. Um, you can disable the length of time before the button becomes active again in the hammer, can't you? But uh, no, that's a good workaround. So, uh, yeah, interesting little concept. Definitely. All right, this is Ubiqui Ubiquitous from Sears 16. Second appearance tonight. Medium difficulty laser and funnel puzzle. Please now cube tossing in, uh, into a funnel and standing on a cube to jump in the funnel are both unintended. Fun fact, the laser relay connected to the glass door has one second delay, so the door would not open upon stand starting the puzzle. Thanks to TF Play testing advice feedback. Music was composed by the amazing Mike Stro. Uh, feedback is appreciated. If estimates are intended solutions, please let me know SV and I will try to fix them. Alrighty then. Uh, no, I haven't thought about getting shaders for Portal 2. I have not. Alrighty then, where are we going to get going here? Let's think about this. We have to get down with the mic jams here. Oh, I nearly went across the goo. That would have been disastrous. Disastrously funny. Okay. So, um, cube drops there, which is going to go straight in the goo. Does the cube auto respawn? This is Wheatley. Thank you very much for the follow. Does auto respawn? Thank you very much. So kind. Welcome, welcome. All right, so that intersects. We can now push that over to there. We can go and pick that up. Go see what we can do with the laser. Now that we have it. Okay, so blocking it there disables that. Good to note. I wonder if that's where we need to do it. Now the problem is. Yeah. So, we've got the problem here. Well, we need to put that across to there to block it on that side. But obviously, we can't get back over there at the minute. So there's our first real problem. We need to use the funnel to reverse. But now that we have this cube... Also, the glass panel is bugging out. Yes, you are our 500th follower for the second time. <laughs> okay. So now, surely, if I do that, that will be bootstrapped for now. Alright, that seems like a good place to save. I 
Okay, so now we have both cubes out here. I feel like... We're going to want to... Oh, we can bring the funnel out now, can't we? Yes, we can. Of course we can. Let's just do that to there. Because blue is input. Welcome back, Kanan. So that's going to open our exit. Now, we actually want to reverse the funnel. I think I'm going to want to use this cube because that one is more difficult to get out. So now having reversed the funnel, we can do this, which gets us back over to this side. So we need to think about what's going to happen next. So we can block this. I think this is what Sears was meaning about jumping into the funnel here. I think we've got to do this here, like that. That blocks that. Let's head back to the other side because we can keep the funnel for now. By doing something like this, right? Our issue now becomes we can't walk back through here. So I think what we maybe should have done, once we've got over to this side, we should leave this cube off here for the time being. And now we're gonna to want to, I believe, reposition this cube. repositioning the cube here because what I'm thinking is we could aim this over here and then still hit this one here to keep this door open because then we can go back and get the, the funnel again now like I said however the problem is There's always a problem. Balls full of them. Um, we can't do anything with that. All right, so maybe, just maybe. roll with this for the time being. It's how we deal with this bit here, isn't it? This is Ubiquitous from a Sears 16. So 
there's no way to just think about what's happening here, right? We need to, um, we also cause a blue respawn, I don't know how we would cause that, but if we could cause a blue, ah, hold on, didn't see that angle. Okay, that's an interesting angle. Oh, but I shouldn't have done that. Hmm, that could be problematic. Hold on, what did the rules state here? Oh, it states that I can do, I might be able to do this then. Nothing in the rules that said I couldn't do that, right? You see, that just kind of puts me back in the same... Or does it? Maybe not, because I could do this instead. Because addicted. <laughs> okay. Slightly different approach. But I don't know if it does anything different for me. Because the issue is still that... The issue is still... The respawn of the blue. Actually, maybe not. Maybe, maybe not. Um, oh no. Yeah, that's the whole problem, isn't it? I just think I could come down here. Oh, 
hold on. Block this. Walk around there. Blue funnel up to there. Respawn. Maybe it works? No, that would have to be blocked. That to work. Unless I take this with me. Hello, Ryan. Thanks for hanging, buddy. Appreciate it. Have a great day. Uh, crazy. Thanks again for hanging. Appreciate it. Have a good one. How do we get around this then? How do we get around it? All right, Mika. Because that never turns off, we can't like pull ourselves through there either. The only way to get back over there is with a reverse funnel. Pretty sure. Pretty sure. This is where you leave. Appreciate it. We'll get around to it just as soon as we clear the rest of the queue. Maybe, maybe we're overlooking this. I'm going to save there because I don't want to go too much further. But we could, of course, do this. Cause a respawn here. Oh, you know what? Yeah. Okay. What if I angled this a little bit more? Then we head back. Doesn't matter about the portal at the minute now because we can now open this door up from here. Maybe that's the key. So we open that door. Well, it gives us portal back. But we still don't get across there, do we? Do 
Do you know what though? If those cubes were the other way around, I could now respawn blue. Is that significant? I've already played Portal Epic Edition twice. Uh, and the uh, cognitive breakdown tests as well. We, we've we done that and I never wish to see or hear of that mod ever, ever again. <laughs> uh, yes, probably will do once it's released, yep. It is on my Steam wish list. I haven't really been keeping up though with the the, the details and, and the goings on of it, so I don't know where everything is with it at the minute. <laughs> right, so um, yeah, um, things and stuff. Let's. All right, is it possible from here? Is it possible from here? To get both the cubes over to this side. I think it might be. I want to try and get both the cubes to the exit side a moment. So... Pretty easy task. All right. So from here, respawn blue from that side. We're going to want to do. Alright, I think we're going to want to do that to there. How, what was I just thinking there? Blue. I don't know what I was thinking. Um, having lights, bit of a problem. Alright, let's go back to the save. Okay, so that's all laser free. Let's take this one out. Oh, you didn't get the word, Mika? No! Okay, so that's that, that's that.
So what was I thinking here? Because of course now the issue is, now I'm not blocking that there. I can't get back over to that side unless I reverse the funnel. Okay, so... In theory... I was thinking I could just like respawn the blue, but I can't get back over, can I? Do you know what? I think this is what I wanted to do, actually. Hold on. Let me... What if, then, instead, I went back to this sort of setup here, so that points over to there, that gives us a blue funnel here. We then do this to here, that to there, respawn this cube again. We don't actually worry about that, and we pull ourselves back to here instead. That was um, host time scale set to quadruple speed, just to speed up a, a little segment right there. Why is that? Has that cube moved? Why did that cube move? This cube's got a song in the head. They have. Right, so we have that, we have that. So, we could now potentially do what? Yeah, host time scale speeds everything up. It's like so close yet so far. Because all we effectively need would need to do there is um could respawn that cube this is kind of like what I said before we almost need to have both the cubes over on the other side The problem is like keeping the funnel and doing that. If we have both cubes here, I 
then we could have the blue cube blocking the laser path here. And this is what I was trying to go for before. So the blue blue the blue cube would block the path here while we had the funnel. So that then we could go over to there, get up to the top. All right, so let's, I'm sure there must be a way to do this, surely. So this is what we have at the moment. We would need to go and get the... So we need to do this. Yo, money, what's going on yet? This is a, a Sears map. So that has to stay there at the minute. that. We go back. Try not to kill ourselves because of the quadruple speed. We're just kind of going around in circles though at the moment, which is unfortunate, to say the least. And uh, that's also unfortunate that that intersects right there. Move that like we'd actually put it in a decent spot. Somewhere like that. The reason we've got to do that is because of the intersection point with that portal. So that one's still there. That's fine. Okay, maybe this is... Is this the move? Maybe it does need to insect. So well and good, but I don't have a way back. Damn it! 
<laughs> I don't have a way back and it's really bugging me. Coco, just the person I wanted to speak to. Um, how you doing, first and foremost? Secondly, though, um, you submitted a map request. And uh, both the links were broken. I know you said in the, in the second one that you it was an update, but both of them were broken. Have you um, fixed it since? Out of interest. So poster check. I'm stood up. I'm not. Sh I should really take that one off when I'm stood up because I don't know how I can check my posture when I'm stood up. I'll stand up straight. Okay, no worries. Just wanted to check. Stand up straighter. I will try my best. Oh, hold on a minute. Oh, okay. Now, I'm not going to say I'm I'm a dum-dum, but I think I may have just seen something interesting. Something very interesting indeed. Let's forget the funnel for a moment. Now, how would we do this? So basically, what we're going to do... Yeah, okay. I want to pull myself across here first. So. Yeah. Basically, I think what I need to do... I want to get the cube in here. That's what I think we need to do. Now the problem is... How do we do that? Because what we could do, right, effectively... Let's, let's do a... Let's do our favourite segment of the show. Let's pretend we're not. We had this cube here. That would point. I don't. Why does that one move? I don't know how that one moves. But anyway, yeah, we could do that, right? With that and that, we could then put that to there. Walk through here. And then effectively, obviously that cube move. But we then have. That cube in there, it would be blocking the reverse funnel. We respawn this cube. Yeah, that's it. Okay, so we need to get the cube in there. Get the cube in there and we're home and dry. We are home and dry. Yeah, clearly it's a bit... Um, I think it's a bit touchy about the, using me using the laser, isn't it? Jeez. Okay, we do that first. First and foremost, let's do that. Next up, let's go back over here. I think I feel like I must have done like this step like a hundred times over now. It's 
So yeah, I could do that and that. But I'm not able to block, am I, thanks to the Hydra wheelie? We are suitably hydrated today, actually. Okay, let's open this up again here. And then we can put that to there. Still keeps that open. Okay, now we can go get the funnel. Do we want the funnel, though? I don't think we need the funnel at this point, do we? I think all we need to do is that. Pick this up. Drop it through. That's there. Oh, we need to go out through the fizzler. Fizzler. Did I not, like, turn off that? Alright, buddy, no worries. Take it easy. Have a good one, buddy. Hope you're well, all that sort of James. Okay, that opens that up. I think we're about there, people. I think we're about there. Then we can go into here. Then we will fizzle this cube with a portal on there. That takes us back over here. Clever move indeed. Very clever. And now you might be thinking, but knock, the cube's gone in there. Whatever are you going to do? Well, we're going to do that. And then we'll come back over here, move this cube here, just like so, and wait for it to hit the button. Very, very cool map indeed, this is. Finally got some sleep. <laughs> yeah, you, you need to start sleeping more, man. Like, seriously. Awesome map, Sears. I like that concept as well. The whole uh, funnel conundrum, needing that reverse funnel, is uh, definitely um, an interesting one. Definitely, indeed. All right, this one is called Two Woman, One Cube by KNN. Um, now, I remember last time we played the KNN map, it was uh, quite a doozy. I remember. So let's see what this one uh, has got to offer. It's got a little computer face. That's cute. Um, enjoy this level. You might want to try my other chamber. Hardest and most complicated chamber ever built. You're suspicious. All right. Well, have fun soaring through the air without a care in the world. All righty then. Oh my dear God! Oh, oh no. Okay. 
Well then. Okay, we found a button. Oh well, we have warehouses full of the things. Absolutely worthless. I'm happy to get rid of them. Go ahead and grab another one. Uh huh. Red flag here, Coco. Don't know what you're talking about. Perfectly normal happenings right here. Now, what you mean? Of course, I mean, that's not there, is it? Um, well, I think I've seen enough of that. All right, let's move on to the next. This is Passageway from Seven Silhouette. As uh, monopole portal puzzle, meaning you're only able to fire the blue portal from your device. The orange portal is controlled by the testing elements within the chamber. When none of the elements are active, the orange portal returns to its original home panel. Uh, in an effort to create a somewhat traditional portal experience, there are a few different ways of doing what ultimately ends up being the same puzzle. Instead of forcing a specific way of navigating the chamber, I decided to let the player choose what works best for them. I'll start to give a quick thanks to Test Chamber Junkie. Okay, Chad and Deathwish 808. It's four to six out of ten on the scale uh, compared to their other maps. There is a hidden companion cube. And yep, yeah, as always with Seven Silhouette, there are um, multiple different chambers. Uh, sorry, multiple different um, portal shots available. To be able to complete this. I think three was the lowest. Yeah, three for gold, and that's already one taken there, so geez. That's something. I've got a timer event over there, which is that. We do a laser to there. Which is going to do probably change the mono portal to there. Okay. Gonna do I think that may just be the entrance into the map if I'm honest. That's gonna change that one to there, isn't it? What's that one doing? Can't really see. I'm just debating whether or not I want to jump down. But yeah, let's go. Let's go for it. So yeah, as thought, that changes the mono portal there. We could have placed the portal on the floor there and then taken the cube through, but obviously when we take this off, it's going to change it anyway, so it's a bit pointless. What we can do, however... Oh, I'm not going for portal records or anything, so... We could do here. Do the old. Um, we can do the old um, rotating in the portal thing.
just like that. Now we're going to want to take this portal through to this cube through to the other portal, I believe. So let's swap this because I think the laser cube is going to be more beneficial here than the standard weighted cube. We'll also create a safe spot just there. Where can we actually use the laser? We can use it here. Okay. That's interesting. This... Okay, this could be something... That's a problem, isn't it? Because ultimately we need the portal on the other side. That's what we're going to want to do, isn't it? Because that's going to be a short timer. What is it? Well, maybe... Just maybe we could use Could we not do the same with the Do that. Oh, the problem is, though, I'd need to get that into there, wouldn't I? Yeah, that won't work. We'd already need to be pointing over there with the laser. I mean, we could do... We can't do that there, though, can we? And then because we're pointing that over there, obviously doing this goes through the wrong portal surface, doesn't it? How do we get around this? <laughs> Our stream takeover is basically where... Basically where... Um, you could pick... A game... 
for me to play uh, for one entire stream. Subject to A, it being in my library, or B, me being able to get hold of it. How can I travel across the other side? All right, what if I was to do, let me just scope something out a moment. Alright, let's say it's over here. Okay, so... Can I get a portal in there? Maybe I can put a cube in there as well. Maybe that's what I should try. I guess there's like a priority on um, some of these cubes, right? Okay, so now we have this. I could rotate it on there. But that would kind of defeat the point of... Having that portal there, wouldn't it?
Uh, past Deathwish. Um, ba -ba 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 -ba. think it's that maybe. All right, guys, back with you in a moment. No, you don't. All right, back to the solve. Um, where's my console gone? There we go. Thanks for the stretch, Coco. So Death Wish has just initiated the airboat giveaway. Um, you can guess within 10 airboats of his total. He will donate, he will give you, not donate, he will give you $10. Um, I don't know what it was last stream because Death Wish hasn't done it for about a month, honey, if I'm honest. So I couldn't possibly tell you. I don't even think I've got a note. I'd have to, like, trawl back through pages and pages of notes to even, um, uh, to even say, so, yeah, blind leading the blind, Deathwish just didn't want to part with his, uh, his ten dollars. <laughs> um, alright, how are we going to do this, how do we do this? Atom's lurking in the shadows. What's going on, Atom? Hope you're well. Hope you're well. I kind of want to... I kind of want to keep that portal there. I, I feel like that would be important. I have to aim the laser over to this catcher. There's no way I can aim the laser into a portal and use it that way. So it has to go direct. Now there seems to be like an order of preference here. 
So, for instance, when this one is active, it overrides that one there. So I kind of need to go to the other side. This will be interesting. We get rid of this one. We don't have anything on there at the moment. See, this is where, like, confusion sort of steps in a little bit. No way either that I can like respawn that, is there? This is what I'm talking about about the like the preference here. So for in order for this to work Can be there. Isn't there a key move to solve most maps? Uh, Death Wish. It's out of interest. Uh, chances are nobody will win it, but um, I don't think Deathwish has announced how many he's actually got at the moment, so. Oh yeah, because that makes all the difference, Deathwish. A seven silhouette. Key move, of course, yeah. <laughs> Alright, I've, ha I've had a... had a thought and I don't know I don't know how I feel about this
What if I did something from up here? That's where I'm sort of going with this. You're up to 61,000 death wish? Yikes. I mean, if I completely honest, I don't know how this is like, any different to what I was doing anyway. Oh, I need to block the cube. Okay, what if we did this? Sorry, I'm not being very vocal at the minute. I'm like deep in concentration mode at the moment. Oh yeah, we can't do that, could we? Because of um, things and stuff and stuff and things. What's going on, T. Chapman? How you doing? Sorry, missed your uh, initial hello. What's going on, though? Hope you're well. Welcome, welcome. Cube actually end up. It does end up there. Okay. Yeah. Uh, I hate to admit it, but I'm pretty lost with this. I'm pretty sure, like I said, portal there, portal there. I don't know which one needs to be the auto portal though.
I still feel like for whatever reason we need to swap the cube. Coco has been here for 30 and a half hours. Can you believe it? You get less for murder. Okay, we can do this. Okay. And that puts that there. Alternatively, we can do that. So we have that. Now we could put a cube there. How important is that? What if we was to do this? Take this cube. Let's pretend we haven't taken it across the other side. See, that just kind of like bugs everything out. Now, we could do this. But that would need to have... How does this make a difference here? We could do that and that, yeah. Which is fine. Uh, the bot works a little strange. You might want to try um, doing. Uh, you might want to try doing um, uh, page zero as opposed to page one. Did nothing. Or not. Or not. Sure. I understand what you're meaning there. 
weirdly. So welcome back, Deathwish. I'm like, I, I, I don't know, I'm missing something. I must be missing something like... No, see, look, that's that's how that's how crazy I'm getting right now. It wasn't even Deathwish there, it was Kano that said back. Not Deathwish. Welcome back, Kano. Jeez, it's getting too late in the day for this. I just, I don't know, I don't know what's going on at the minute. I can't focus on what I'm meant to be doing. I think I'm going about this the wrong way though. I think the auto portal needs to be in there. Now, the problem with that is... The problem with that is, if we have a portal in there, how can we get back over to there? And the answer to that conundrum would be... B. Maybe. Can I get to the top? Okay. Can I get to the top? Okay, so portal there. Portal here. Then I would want to do... Um, it doesn't take any particular amount of time. Ah, you see... <laughs> yeah, now what I would want is I would need to get this cube... I'm going to save here. Yeah, screw the Easter egg. So that money. Take it easy. Have a good one. Um, yeah, but I tend to do collections on, like, more specialised streams. Alright. 
maybe, just maybe. Let's go back to this a minute. This takes me back to the top. I need to respawn that cube though. How do I? Yo, Ace, what's going on, buddy? That would only work if. Hold on. Yeah, but then I can't... Uh... Let's know how we would request you on his four-part chamber series. Just submit like normal. Just post if they're in a collection on Steam. Sorry, I'm, I'm sort of like trying to keep up with what's going on, and I'm also trying to like concentrate quite hard on this. So I apologise for missing your messages, but um, it's. Um, If it's part of a collection, post the link to the collection on Steam. Um, but if not, do it as four separate requests. Sorry, I'm just... yeah. The problem is now, I come out of here and... That's lost. Yeah, go for it, Adam. I mean, I was thinking, like, from here...
I could like dislodge that chain like that there, but there'd be no point to that because then I'd just lose my portal. Right. Bribery allowed. <laughs> sure. For the small price of one million dollars. <laughs> I feel like this is important, though. I haven't really touched on this, okay? I just realized it. I feel like that button's important. The fact that it's right next to there. What could I do? Where can I put the cube in a position where pressing that button and causing it to respawn would be beneficial? Eerily quiet now, isn't it? favorite type of biscuit. I don't really have much of a biscuit person, if I'm honest. I'm quite partial to a uh, custard cream. I uh, don't mind an Oreo. An Oreo, however you want to pronounce it. Um... But yeah, not really a massive biscuit person. All right, so we have that. Uh, I just want to put a pole there. How, how could I put a pole there? Can't do anything from here. Hmm. 
So I mean, we could set that up like that. Really know what the benefit of that would be. Because you do that, you lose your port there. So. Which then brings me back to this. Like, that's quite. feels quite important at that stage. Um, what did I think that would activate this platform? I don't know what I'm doing anymore. So, uh, you want to throw that vague hint my direction, Deathwish? Then go right ahead. The relay error is where the magic happens, yeah. Duly noted. Okay, what if instead of doing what I've been doing... Okay. The block, let's just think about what happened there. I put it through there. Blocks the laser. Which is the auto portal. Drops back through. But before it has a chance to do anything else. Hold on. So now what if I do that? Right. That seems a bit of a... Hmm. 
Okay, but let's let's think about this. Let's think about this. So, with this one, now, I don't know if this is the back step. I need to just go back up here. I can't remember if I saved up here. So let's save there. So, I need to make sure I keep Because it's the second time you've asked Kano, it, the price is now inflated to Would you like to ask a third time? Okay, so here... Hmm, you see here what I would ideally want to do... Is blue portal here with an, the other one over there... I feel would be... A good place to be. Yo, Gab, what's going on? And Mika, see you later, buddy. Thanks for hanging, buddy. Appreciate it. Have a good one. Hello, that was the back step.
Uh, this is um, Pathways from Seven Silhouette. Okay, um... I'm not sure I like the idea of this. Yikes. Key, the key, I think, is definitely... I can keep that there. Travel across there somehow. The only way I can travel across there would be... It's the cube in front of here. Hold on. Oh no. No. Coco got the smarts, she figured it out. I wonder, I wonder.
Go on, Nick. How you doing? This is, doesn't help me, does it? Because it puts me back in the right position here. Good luck with that one. Do we do the decent thing and acknowledge the fact that map makers just joined the chat or do we just ignore him because uh, we can't work it out. So like kind of thanks for hanging buddy appreciate it enjoy the rest of your day I still feel like that 
doing something with this cube here is in, could be important because mm -hmm. um Because that is right there. Okay. Okay, this is this is this is quite crazy. So crazy. may not work but it would make use of the fact that this button is right here now Now, is that beneficial in any way, shape, or form? Now, I think... Left that there. What else can I do though here? Because now. this back here. Here's what I need to do now. You see, I don't think we need to do a cube swap. Do we? I want to say. I want to say it's blue portal on here.
the portal on there. I'm not seeing the subsequent move. I want to say that I want to say we want the blue portal here the problem is I don't see what we would use that button for if not Swap the cubes, maybe? cubes maybe but if I did that I would want to I think at this point then I would want to take it off here
See, this is this is an interesting setup here. Send myself across though. How do I send myself across and then get rid of this cube here? Just stop it, yeah. I don't remember what I did now. We do that and we swap the cubes. That's what we did, right? Is that a yay? Is, is, is that a good move?
So I can do that, but I don't know what difference that really makes to what I did before, other than that I've got a portal there. I mean, to me, that's just a big reset. Yeah, that's just a reset. I, that doesn't help me at all. Can someone say yay or nay that like swapping the cubes is the next is the right thing to do? The um, not now, my SQL, please. My ability to kind of just even communicate at this point is just non-existent.
I just can't see how to... I don't think I, I don't think it was a trapping situation because um, ultimately you could just do something. If I was the other side, I could have just taken the cube off the button, pulled there, and then gone back up to the top. So I don't think it was a trapping situation. See, for this to work, for this to work, I still need to use the platform, I feel. Mentally, I think I'm done tonight. So I'm not seeing past anything I've already done. Problem is, once you start feeling deflated, then the whole sort of quality of the the solve and the stream just sort of degrades massively. I just take a break. Permanent break. Are we all right up to this point? I think we are. I think we're all right here.
See the way, the way, the only way I see, the only way I see this working is me being over that side, and then travelling back on here. Uh, travelling, no, sorry, me being this side, but travelling over there on the platform. The only way I see doing that would be like to drop the cube from above, but I, that's just totally not the thing. Can't be the thing. have to use the platform to go back across because I can't get into that room without. But at the same time, doing that... Hold on. No, that still won't work. What would it? Um. Okay. All right. Forget what I did there. Nearly a quarter after midnight, man. Not a little. So hold on a minute. Hold on a minute. Hold on. You didn't give anything away, Coco. Don't worry. Do you know what? feel like Is that surface a red herring? I don't mean like a red herring as such but the... Did we even need to use the auto portal button? I don't think we did.
We didn't. We didn't. So if we didn't use that for that... I wonder if that's something to do with the, uh, the old egg of Easteridge. Huh. This is the only way I'm finding an Easter egg tonight, I'll tell you. You know what? I did it. I'm done. I did it, and I am done. Very more ways than one. <laughs> Guys, I really apologise. Like for like the last, I don't know how long. I can't imagine that it's been very, very fun to watch me like trundle through that. So I apologise if that is the case but thank you very much for sticking with it guys i do appreciate it we'll be back tomorrow night torturing ourselves even more with some more portal 2 um what have we got up next what have we got up next oh great it's one from sheep down <laughs> oh jeez yeah so uh, i don't know what that one will be like but uh yeah That'll be interesting. But guys, thank you very much for watching. I really do appreciate your support. And until next time, I've been Ock. You've been awesome. Stay safe. Take care. Happy gaming. Cheers, guys. Bye-bye.